of Caribbean market. You all know his face? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You all know his face today? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Today we want to, in recognition of outstanding support and partnership over the years, for the Archie and his son and his the Caribbean market has been a support to Lighthouse. The moment I spoke with him, he said to me, Sister Kevin, what do you need at school today? And he brought a whole lot of stuff. So we want to thank him for his support and we want to recognize you, you know, publicly and we want this to go throughout the world because this will be posted on YouTube and for the world to see what you're doing here in Maryland. They have a big establishment in New York. And Honor is mine to have Pastor Cameron on the YouTube today. Yes. Certificate of Commendation in honor of dedicate, dedication and outstanding support in is presented to the Caribbean market, Mr. Archie the Rider, for exceptional service and sponsorship to Lighthouse Ministries International Incorporated in Maryland. Awarded on March 25, 2012. And we just thank God for you. Corporation of Dave Imports, the Caribbean market in Maryland, Dave Guyana Fish Market and Grocery Store in New York. Please allow me to express sincere and happy anniversary. The hardest time in the life of anything that grows is a time when you need that, that when you need that the growth is firmly planted, grounded, and rooted. This triple metaphor, one added by me, suggests that there must be a seed and a planter. All of us are aware who is the planter in Lights Out Ministries International, the Reverend Dr. Rossi and Lady CDC and their leadership. Mention of the seed or the values that have to be firmly rooted will follow in this brief. I suggest that if you are firmly grounded you will be easily, you will be able to easily identify all of them. Firstly, to mention briefly, allow yourselves to be planted and rooted in Him. To allow for continual building up in Him. Upward growth, I mean and always being increasingly conformed in the faith and abounding in it with thanksgiving. Secondly, grow up to be the habitation of God through the Spirit. There is not any limitation that is ever set to the operations of God on the soul or on or to the growth of the soul in knowledge, love, and the image of God. <laughs> Thirdly, when you are firmly planted and rooted and brought into such a state of salvation, 
You must abound in gratitude and loving obedience as you grow in grief. Firstly, planted and rooted is an expression of the safe and happy state of all believers to walk on in Christ and as pointing to the manner in which you should do so. It engages you to walk, to walk on in Christ by whom you are filled with the fruits of righteousness in him you are to abide, keep close to him, deserving all your life, nourishment, fruitfulness, grace, and perseverance in it. As you grow up as a holy temple to the Lord, you are to go on laying the whole stress of your salvation on him building your faith and your hope of eternal glory entirely upon him and building up one another also on their most holy faith of which he is the substance. I wish I could go on longer, but I sense that the guest speaker, guest speaker is itching to come as soon as possible. God bless him. So once again, accept humbly on behalf of the business our sincerest greetings to each of you on your celebration. It is our wish that you continue to grow in sincerity of the faith and abiding closely that it was him to whom the church belongs. Happy fourth anniversary. And God bless each one. May I just may I just add um, oh, this was a surprise. I, I I I want to thank the entire membership for recognizing this. Not that um, we are doing this to be recognized. Um, the entire business, um, if you, you can't imagine what it is right now, has been birthed by the Word of God. It all started with a cartoon box in the trunk of a car with one back and one board. Cricket back and cricket ball. That's where the business started. And it has grown to so much that only God is responsible for that. I urge you that if you walk and concentrate, I mean, you have wonderful worship songs. I thought I was rebirthed this morning. Uh, if you continue to walk and abide in the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ, the results that he promises you with the Bible, you will achieve. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you, Archie. Uh, it's a pleasure having this gentleman here. At this point in time, all of you know Brother Patrick yeah. and Brother Ronald. Yeah. I don't see Brother Ronald here, but I see Brother Patrick. Come as I talk, Brother Patrick. Let's see who you are. Again, this is another business here in Maryland that has been extremely supportive of Lighthouse. I called on Brother Patrick at last minute and said, you know what? We need soup after we fast and pray. And he says it's the camera and pick up. So we just happy for this. This is a Jamaican business. This is Guyanese International, Jamaican International business. And we are happy to have Brother Patrick today. Possible to the honors after which Brother Patrick will bring a word of greeting. Praise God. I told Brother Patrick he looks like a preacher today. <laughs> Takes good care of me whenever I visit. 
Certificate of Commendation in honor of dedication and outstanding support is presented to Junction International Market and Jerk Center. Sir Patrick Campbell and Mr. Ronald Freckleton for exceptional service and sponsorship to Lighthouse Ministries International Incorporated in Maryland, awarded on March 25th, 2012.
Jesus is my 